Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this compound shape that consists of a green square, this red right triangle, this yellow rectangle, and this blue rectangle as well. And moreover, the areas for this square, this right triangle, and this yellow rectangle have been given to us. And now we are going to find the area of this blue rectangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let's go ahead and get started before we proceed any further let me make it very clear that this diagram may not be 100 percent true to the scale and here's our very first step let's go ahead and focus on this green square and now let's recall the area of a square formula which is equal to s square where s represents the side length of a square and in our case uh, the area has been given to us as 289 centimeter square. So I'm going to write down 289 equal to S square. Let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides to undo this uh, square on the right hand side. So our side length S turns out to be 17. So therefore the side lengths of this green square turns out to be 17 units. 17 units, 17 all the way. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this red right triangle. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. Let's suppose that this side of this right triangle is base B and this is our height H. Then our height H is going to be equal to this 17 centimeter and this is our base B and we have been given this area of this right triangle as 102 centimeter square. Let me go ahead and write down the area of a right triangle is 102 equals to 1 divided by 2. Let me go ahead and represent base B and height has been given to us as 17. So on the right hand side this could be written as 17 divided by 2 times B. Let's go ahead and isolate B by multiplying by the reciprocal of this fraction that is going to be a 2 divided by 17 on the right hand side and 2 divided by 17 on the left hand side as well. And here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone, 17 and 17 is gone. So our base B equals to 12 centimeter. So therefore our this base turns out to be 12 centimeter. And now we can see that this side length is 17 centimeter and this side length is 12 centimeter. So the total length is going to become 12 plus 17 is going to be 29 centimeter. And now let's focus on this yellow rectangle. And we know that this side of this yellow rectangle is 29. And since we are dealing with this rectangle, this side has got to be a 29 centimeter as well. Now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length time width. Let me go ahead and call this side as length and this side as width w. And the area of this uh, rectangle has been given to us as 261. So let me go ahead and copy it down. 261 equals to length in our case is 29 so i'm going to write down 29 times width w now let's divide both side by 29 so this way this 29 29 is gone so our width w turns out to be 9 centimeter so therefore this width turns out to be 9 now we can see that this side length of this yellow rectangle is equal to this side length if this is 9 then this side length is going to be 9 as well and moreover this side length is same as this side length so this side length has got to be 9 as well and now finally let's focus on this blue rectangle and since we are dealing with the rectangle if this side length is 26 then this side length has got to be 26 centimeter as well 
Now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula once again. Area equals to length time width. Let me go ahead and label this side length as L and this side width W. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this blue rectangle. So the length is 26 times width is 9. So area is going to be simply 234. So thus the area of this blue rectangle turns out to be a 234 centimeter square. Thanks for watching. Bye.